Hi there, Fatal Note here, and welcome back to Fatal Frame 3. We're gonna be going on to the last section of it. <laughs> Yay! So the last time we left off, yay, last section. <laughs> the last time we left off, we saw a very heart-wrenching cutscene. Cause Fatal Frame loves to pull at heartstrings sometimes, along with scaring the people half people half to death. So yeah. Yeah, ignore this file. Ignore this file. Last passage. Piercing of the soul. Wait, okay, which part are we on? Oh. Alright, so, so we're on here. Seven, six, yeah, we're on here. Alright. So now, last time we left off, we gave... Yeah, Kay came over and started investigating with us. Then we gave him a photo and we got a little bit about the t uh, the Fatal Frame timeline. So what we got to do now is we got to go to Yu's room because there's a tape. There's stuff in there that we need. Alright, let's go. So yeah, basically we got to go here. Ho, ho. Thank you. Use document, there's a newspaper. Of it. Land survivor goes missing. Ah, okay. So, yeah, so sometimes you want to come to use room as well, even when you give Miku photographs, because sometimes this can happen. While conducting a geological survey for the planned Minakami Dam site, Mizumi Makimura entered the Minakami Mountains and then disappeared. Makimura's fiance, Miyako Sudo, uh, 25, he's 26, went looking for him and disappeared similar. Similarly, as of yesterday, the search of them was called off and the construction of the Minakami Dam resumed. The Minakami Mountain area was historically had many cases of missing persons as myth of spirited away are popular in the area. This incident is also rumored to be one such spirited away. The police continued to call for provision of any information related to the disappearance of the two. After consolation with the relatives on both sides, they announced that they will be terminating the search. Yeah, because they died. We saw that in Fatal Frame 2. Missing a Minakami. Man who was asleep. Oh my god, reading. Don't you like it when Fatal Frame gives you reading? The Man who was asleep, urban legend. The Man who was asleep is an urban legend that was whispered among those in psychiatry about hospitalized patients suddenly disappearing. There are several stages to it and it progresses like a sickness, having the same dream. The patient who later goes missing first sees the same dream every day, usually about dead lovers or family. Dreaming of the manor. Next, the patient dreams about wandering into a large manor. It is a huge, snowy, Japanese-style house. It is laid out haphazardly. Yeah, haphazardly. As though many extensions were added. Then, deep in the manor, one discovers their dearly departed. The many extensions that were added, we already read that. They try to add different layers of the manor to keep the rift from spreading. So we read that about that. Proceeding deep in, deeper into the manor. Patients following the dead the dead deeper into the manor. Most patients find the same scenes and phenomena along the way. For example, hearing a lullaby. We ha we've seen that. Seeing a masked funeral march. We haven't seen that yet. Or being pursued by a tattooed woman. Yep, we've seen that. Halluc hallucinations while awake. Well, we've seen a lot of them. <laughs> At this stage, the patient complains about abnormalities of the body while awake. The symptoms are common to all patients, and when they wake, they feel a sharp pain and see a glowy blue bruise. Blo go glowing blue blues. Try to say that five, st ten times fast. Or snake-like tattoo. We got that. Decrease in waking hours. Decrease in waking hours. Oh, yeah. At this stage, the patient responds to external stimulation and grows weaker. The time spent in sleep always slowly increases from a medical bill point. This is a defensive reaction to pain, so if the patients are actually in pain, it is normal, a normal response. Missing, vanishing. Then, one to two months after the first days, the patient goes missing. Missing is the official term. It is said that the patient actually vanishes, leaving only black shirt mark, light marks. The above mentioned is the original, the man of sleep urban legend, but the popular legend is more scary or more story like it includes the following elements. Strong feelings of the dead summon the first nightmare. Once you follow the deceased in the dream, you can no longer return. If the sleeping person dreams of a lover or friend, it will be 
It will beckon that person to sleep. The manner of sleep disease spreads thrustly. Deep in the manner of sleep is the world of the dead, and if you make it, you can meet the deceased there. If you make it to the land of the dead, you make it, you, it will, you can meet the deceased there. I wonder what fatal I'm not fatal flame. We're calling God the you can meet the deceased at a certain place from. I I hear men um I hear men make abyss um vibes here, even if I knew that I. There's an undressed envelope in the desk. It seems as though there was a cassette tape inside. Perhaps it was sent by K. Yep, there's the tape. Notebook in the envelope. Oh my gosh, so much reading. The song is thought to be the original of Northeastern Japanese lullaby, The Sleeping Priestess. It was found in a grammar form at a local university and had it sent to me. I listened to it, but the first and second verse were slightly different from today's Sleeping Priestess. This is thought to be due to the differences in the period and the area where the song was transmitted. Further, the major difference is that there is also a third verse. I have to look into it more, but it seems that the mood changes from the first two verses to the third. I wrote the lyrics as I heard them. So there's the third lyric. That, this one we had not heard yet, but we'll hear it later. Do to the other side. I'm not going to sing it. I, if I read it, I'm going to start singing it. So I'm not going to do that. So go ahead and read it. Because <laughs> I'm going to start singing it if I read it. The first and second verse are littered with frightening words, but the third verse is more melancholy. In particular, the ending of the song seems less like a lullaby than sometimes sung at a funeral. Hmm. Okay, is that it? Okay, we go here. Yep, knew it. Rituals and stat statues. This statue is from a deluded temple in the Akita Mountains. It is standing upright, but seems to be holding something like reins in its hands, making it a very unusual Buddhist statue. The temple appears to have been neglected for many years, and both the ceiling and floor fell in. The books were completely decomposed. Upon investigation, a small amount of blood was found on the statue, and there was also traces of the same blood on the floor of the temple. It appears some kind of folk ritual or sacrifice may have taken place here. No oral tradition or documents related to the temple or left in the surrounding mountain village, so the details remain a mystery. Oh, darn it! <laughs> Corp knew spirited away. There have been incidents of shrine carpenters disappearing across the regions. This month alone, ten shrine carpenters have gone missing, and it's rumored that they may be so-called spirited away. All ten shrine carpenters were young and well-respected, and it says several had been summoned to rebuild a secret shrine somewhere. Ooh, where did we hear that before? Anything else? Darn it! <laughs> the Wolf Priestess! Oh my gosh, fear from one! In my visit to the Himino area and the five pedestal shrines that protect the five deity Mira, has was I was able to pursue fa fascinating old text on the Himino area legend about the gates to the underworld. From these texts, it is clear it was clear that abnormal gate of the underworld ceremony has, was held in this area. Following it is vocabulary I gone through my research this time, Ceremony of the Ropes. The Ceremony of the Ropes is held to close the gates, i.e. the gates of the underworld in a special rope. The laceration rope is used. Yep, we know about this, the laceration rope. A special rope used to close the gates. It was also written that it is used to stay the priestess's power. The rope priestess. In a certain document, there is a diagram of a female with arms, legs, necks bound by rope. Perhaps she is the rope priestess and the five ropes are the laceration ropes. Rope, sorry. The strangling ritual. Where did we hear this before? Bind the priestess with ropes, pull them to the five gods, create, create thereby a laceration rope to perform the ritual. Here, the five gods may signify the direction of the five shrines on the, which the Himura mansion is centered. Pulling the rope that binds the priestess in five directions must create the laceration rope. The rope binding the priestess is truly used as the Laceration rope in the rope priestess then is a sort of human sacrifice. The ho I hope to visit the human mansion in the near future and wrap up the tale of the gates to the underworld as well as that of the rope priestess. You just just hope that the, that Miku has already purified the human mansion by the time you get over there, please. <laughs> Anything else? Yay! I know Fatal Flame has a lot of reading, but it tells a lot of story. Fatal Flame 3 I see, see as most in-depth with story and history, which is kind of cool. 
The house in Miku's dream was different from mine. In a folklore book in Yu's room, I found an article about the room that came out on that photo. The Hibido Mansion. According to a folklorist named Ryozo Murakata, they spelled his name wrong there. Thank you, mistranslation. <laughs> Cancel out the U, man. A ritual took place there to seal the gate of the underworld. Using shrine maidens called the Rope Priestess. Yep, and then Fatal Frame 1 to heal the rest of it. The man who appeared in the photo is Mizumi Makimura, who went missing three months ago near the Minikami Dam site. His fiance went to look for him and never came back. Many people have gone missing like this in the Minikami area, and there were rumors that they have been spirited away. Then they were killed by, by a crazy girl with a oh, bloodstained kimono. You gotta love it. I found a Buddha image similar to the one on the bloodstained altar in an old book of folklore. The book suggested the image was a kind of memorial and used for an offering for offering life sacrifices. In the image in the book the same as the one is the image of the book the same as the one in the house? What was happening there? I have no idea. Many ah, Johnny, you better not be yelling at me right now. Oh, we're not in the manor, I don't think it counts. The Carpenters, the man in ragged white robes and tall court hats. In an old newspaper I found in Yu's room was an article about shrine carpenters who have gone missing about the same number as in the photo. And it also, and you, Ray, you forgot to mention that it also said they were going to go help build a sh secret shrine somewhere. Alright, so that's it. So yeah, Fatal Free 3 may have a lot of books, but it helps to convey history and the story and what it happened. Even though I find Fatal Frame 5 more confusing than, any, than anything. But that's just me. Okay, we're gonna go listen to this tape. And it's the best tape of all. Because the tape is the Sleepy Priestess. So I'm gonna go ahead and mute myself while you guys listen to a very beautiful lullaby. We'll be back. I want an encore of that song. Okay, whatever. I love that song. Good thing I can sing it without you guys knowing. Alright. So basically after hearing that song, you want to go talk to Kay. Because now Ray knows what his plan is to help stop the curse. Because it was in the song, which he suggested it was in. Kay! I heard a pretty song. Oh, This could be a clue. I'll examine it tonight. That's all he says? Okay. Well, it's night. 
Are you examining it, Kay? Kay. Kay. Are you examining it tonight, Kay? Huh? Are you going to examine it? Oh, he's sleeping on my couch. How dare he? You have no permission to sleep on my couch. You get off my couch. Fine, whatever. I'm a gracious host. Did you just say meal? Aw, poor guy. <laughs> Where's the permanent marker? I need a permanent marker. <laughs> Let's draw a face on him. <laughs> do, 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 do. Permanent marker, boo. There you are. I knew you were coming, Missy. I hate that lady so much. I don't think there's anything in the dark room. Nope, nothing. I knew she was gonna come. How's that face doing? Yep, that's his creepy face. That is a creepy face. Hello? We can't play with Rui because, yeah. Aw, poor kitty. Hi, kitty. We can't play with Rui because after uh, Miku falls to the tattoo curse, which is right now, uh, Rui sleeps for the rest of the, day, the game, which is sad. You, when she's up before uh, Miku's last chapter, you can actually play with her. So I re okay, I can't find the permanent marker, so I can't draw in your face. I was gonna draw a mustache. <laughs> And a monocle. And he can be the most uh, fashionable um, ghost hunter. Good job, Kay. Okay, let's go. So we're going to save. Whoa. And, this, and we'll be right back. So give me a second. And welcome back. I saved. Yay. Let's go. Ah! Go, go, run, run. Either way, it'll all be over soon. Mm hmm. Impale the priestess to subdue the tattoo stakes must be here within the mansion. Yeah. All right. So remember back in Miku's chapter where we had to go find all the purity stones? Yeah, we get to go to where all those purity stones were, but now we're Kay. And Kay can't go through tight corners like Miku can go into the floorboards. So. Hi though, go opposite. Whoa, slow down. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> K Speedrunner. <laughs> He's Speed Racer. Yeah, um, ignore the main attack that's over there. Do not take a picture of her or else she'll come after you. <laughs> that was a fun ride. So yeah, now we're going into these door altars again because the stakes are in these door altars. And what you gotta do is you gotta try to find a way to get to all of them without going through all of the floorboards because K can't get... K can't do that. So remember when I said in uh, Miku's chapter to try to find, to remember where the doll altars are and how to get to them without using the floorboards? Yeah, this is it. So this puzzle that's coming up um, is a little bit confusing. So I have a little mini walkthrough I made to do this. Yeah, inside of the miniature shrine there is a stake made of stone piercing the middle. In the shadow of the stone... At the lower part of the shrine, there is a miniature engraved script. By the place, the balance of light, purify the shadow of the state, the tattoo stakes, subdue the priestess in the chamber of needles. So basically, if you notice, yeah, it changes the sa shadow, and you have to make sh the shadow disappear, and then the stake is gone. This is Minnie's altar. So Minnie's altar, so real quick, either take a picture or draw this. Draw this, so... Hopefully, maybe I can, like, take a picture of this and show you guys. But here you go, draw this. Okay, and then here's the order. There you go. 
That's minis. So now we got this, but now guess who's here? Who's here? Minnie! Hi, girl! Where'd you go? There you are! Hi, pretty girl. Now she's flying. She's a flying Minnie. Minimo? Minimo! There she is. Hi, girl. Now she wants a hug. Huh. Ah! <laughs> I love her! Minnie! I want a hug. Now she just wants a hug. She wants a hug. You can't see her now. <laughs> oh, I missed her. Minnie? Oh! <laughs> I love Minnie. This is the reason why I love Minnie. She's so cute. I'm gonna make her noises all the time. Where is she? There she is right here. No, you don't, Minnie! Well, I will tell you, Case. Yeah, she's in the wall. Case camera is pretty good at getting a lot of Fatal Flame shots because his um, power is so low. Uh oh. It's okay, we got her. If I can find her. Mini! Mini! We don't have time for this. Whoa, there you are. Mini, you are in the way. Hi, I see you. You're behind me. Give me a hug! Ah, uh, Mini! Oh, she is still there. Minnie! Minimo! You wanna count again for us? Oh, she's looking at her. She wants a hug. I'm sorry, Minnie. I can't give you a hug. Not today. Uncle K is. Ah! Uncle K is busy! Ah! Uncle K is busy! Ah! It's funny because he is an uncle. So he is Uncle K. Just for Minnie, though. Just for Minnie, though. Isn't that cute, Minnie, huh? Yeah. Bye. Bye. Blow. Upgraded lens. Damage. All damage increased. I don't know if this is as good. Yeah, I don't know if that's as good as um, zero, so I'd still keep zero. Also, I'm not going to use any of my points on Kay's camera, even though his camera sucks, because... I want to save it for Ray. Alright, so now we got minis. We'll go get his zombies now because uh, the tattooed priestess is gone. Because she was going towards the zombies, that which forces you to go to minis. So we gotta go to his zombies, which is right here. Now, Shigaways and Amanes are a little bit difficult to get to. Shigaways is probably the one that you should do last. No, first or last. Do you do Amanes? All right. Well, yeah, we know, we know. So, his Hisame is, is leave this light open. Here, 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 and here. Nope, that's it. Yeah, my, my drawing's a little bit off. Okay, you got the tattoo stick two. I don't remember how we got to Sugar Rays. No, Sugar Rays is towards the, um, the needle. How do we do a mon Oh, I know how to get on to Amanes. And yeah, we do. Amanes is the quickest for right now, and then Sugar Rays is all the way at the top. Okay. I know how to get to Amanes. Yeah, I call the doll authors by the handmaidens that, um, resigned in them. This is what we need. Right here. Okay. Thank you. That's the purifying light. We're gonna need that. So to get to Amane's, you gotta go here. Yeah, I call the uh, door altars. I don't really call them like north, south, east, and west. I call them by um, uh, who, who has which altar. So... I'd say Amani has this altar, Shigure has this altar, etc, etc. So, to get to Amani's, you basically gotta go through the same way you w to do the Belfalau key, which, during Ray's chapter, which is over here. 
Um, if this is your second time playthrough, you can also do the um, optional side, the Echo Stone Earring side quest. Which we can't really do because this is a first time playthrough. Te this is considered a first time playthrough. Which is sad because the, if the ending for the first time playthrough isn't canon. <laughs> so you get the non-canon ending even though after all the other Fatal Frame games you do get the canon ending first. You get the canon ending first then the extra endings. This is totally different so it's kind of funny. As the Fatal Frame 5 is more confusing. Oh we gotta come back. We gotta come back up anyway so I'll leave that until we get back. So here's is Samanis or Shigurais? I thought this was... No, this is um, Amane's room because I, f I figured because Shigure doesn't have the um, lights out. Okay, so this one only needs the two. If I can find it. There we go. Okay. Oh, boy. Alright, that's Amane's. Now we have one more and that's Shigure's. There's no um, side quest. The last side quest is, the, is in the next hour. There's the 14 film. Yeah, let's go back up. Also, um, you can actually go to the Himido Mansion area and actually remove this as K and you can create a shortcut. That's in the, um, that area is where we fought one of the, um, engraved men, the guys in blue, in the Sacrificial Pillow Hour. Yeah. That's where that is. I meant I mentioned it like oh you can come back and push the, that drawer and then create a shortcut yeah you can do that now or you can do that later create a nice shortcut I don't think it, yeah it kind of does I'm just going the way I oh my gosh <laughs> purifying light knock it off <laughs> all right. Alright, so Shigure's room is a little bit farther the, away than everybody else. As K, because remember, K can't go through floorboards, so we can't use Miku's shortcut. We gotta go the long way. So yeah, basically you're going to the rope, the doll altars, the way Miku came out of them. So Miku came out of the of Amane's room the way K went in. So that's how you can remember how to get to the doll altars without going to the floorboards. So Minimo and Hisamis are the easiest, and then Amani is semi-easy, and Shigure is a little hard to, um, ah, I drew on it. Oh, great. Don't want to waste the 90 film, but guess who we get to fight? Good thing there's a uh, purifying light um, where we're going. Why not? I was a good boy. I just want to get to a handmaiden thing. Hi. You over there? There you are. Listen for those audio cues. You're gonna be behind a wall. I knew it. You were gonna be behind a wall. That's not, that's not funny. Are you sure about that? Okay. You know what? Let's go test out that blow. Um, function. Let's try the blow function now. See how powerful it is. Compared to zero. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, she's over there. At least she's crying. I mean, she's getting up. Yep. Where'd she go? Excuse me. Over here. Ah! Where are you going? Stop teleporting. Would you stop teleporting? We have a purifying light to keep up with. Oh, jeez. She's over there. There you are. Come here. I want to test the new function. Yeah. See what's better. She's gonna draw her hair at me. Woo! Told ya. Audio cues. Why do I hear the grudge girl? 
There she is. Come on. Oh my gosh, the purifying light. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Would you knock it off? Okay, why don't you have a special ability? Bitches. Bitches. Right, good time to use that 14 film. I mean, that 61 film. Where are you? Gotcha! She sounds like she has a kitty. Oh my gosh, this lady. Vicious. Come on, come on, come here, come here, come here. No, not like that. Get off of me. She, she's not giving me fatal flame shots or shadow chances. This is. She's delaying the fight. Gosh darn it, I don't know where she is. Uh oh. Uh, Kyoka? I see, I see. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. Kyoko, we got a problem here. I'm just gonna go to Mazame in a few seconds because she won't attack me. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. There we go, she's dead. Okay, a uh, uh, purifying light's dying, and there's a purifying light. She said, my child, my Konami is. That's what she said. Do we have time to read this? Oh, shoot. <laughs> Whoopsie doopsie. Okay. The purifying light is um, right next to where uh, Shigure's um, doll altar is, so... And I messed up. I don't know which one was that one. Oh, here we go. Papa Diary 3. Akiko hasn't come back. Everyone disappeared from the manor, leaving me behind. I'm always the one who is left here com combing my hair impatiently. No matter how much I comb my hair, no matter how much I concentrate my feelings, he will never return. He never returns. Could it be that the earring, the child, neither of them will convey my love for him? Now, K, run for your life. We're gonna run out of, um, we're gonna run out of purified light by the time we get over there. Oi, oi, oi. Good thing I know where it is. And Reka, Reka, the tattoo priestess, we already know her name, is pretty good at... There it goes. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Talk air. Okay. Reka's pretty okay to avoid, and she doesn't come up too fast, and besides, we're actually near... Up here, fine light anyway, so we're pretty good. Hi, we just gotta get into this room. The pure fine light's on the stand, so we're pretty good. Pure fine light is right here! Oh my gosh, Breaker! No, you don't! 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 I got pure fine light! You can't do nothing! <laughs> we gotta go in here. <laughs> I have a purifying light. You can't do nothing. Ta-da! <laughs> That's why you get, Reka. We already know who the girl's name is already. Okay, finally, Amani's room. Cheapers peepers. Alright, so this one. Yep, this one. Go here. And then the other two. No, not Amani's. Shigure's. This is Shigure's room. My bad. Yeah, yeah, and... Here, here, down, down, down. There we go. <laughs> Amani's room, Shigure's room. Now we got them all. Yep. We can still make it. Yes, we can. We don't. We didn't ha almost get killed by Reka. <laughs> We're totally fine, okay? Oh yeah, yeah. This is what I get when I'm trying to, I want to actually, um, upgrade Ray's camera, not K's. And she's gone. Good. 
Okay, so now basically you gotta go back up to where Mika was at her end of her chapter. No, not the Himino Mansion, the other place. Now an engraver's gonna come after us, but we do not care. Yeah, there's a hidden ghost there, but I'm not gonna do anything about it. Oh, uh, my back. Engraver, stop it. I already fought you twice already. I say I fought two of you in one battle, but I'm okay with that. So yeah, those um shadow puzzles, it's best to um write them all down because I, even I don't remember them, how to do them. I just have a little guide here on how to do it. And it's on my phone. I just drew a picture of what they looked like and then I circled the ones that need to be lit. And that's all I did. Alright, let's go. Yeah, my back is hurting, so I'm all the way to the back, but the best thing about having a capture card is... Yay, I don't have to hear anything. I mean, I don't have to worry about the camera not hearing me, because I have my own headphones. Hey, save point. I haven't seen you in a while. Let's save. Oh my gosh, 19 minutes. I wasn't paying attention. We'll be right back.